the sum function. We've spent the last few lessons looking at the count function, which counts the occurrence of values. Another common function is adding up numbers, which is also known as summing. There's an SQL function called sum that lets us do that. The sum function will add up numbers for us. It works in the same way as count, except we need to specify a value. We can't use sum star. Sum works with number values, and it also works with group by. So let's see some examples. So let's take a look at some examples of the sum function. We'll look at the sum function of salaries in the employee table. We start with select, and then the word sum. We open brackets, and we need to decide what field we want to sum up. In this case, we'll sum up the salary field. Then close brackets. Now we type the word from, and then employee. Let's run this query. We can see it shows a number here. 135460000. This is the sum of the salary field in the employee table. So this is the total of all salaries. Now, let's see the sum of values in the customer order table. If you're not sure what the column name is, you can do a select star first. It doesn't look like there are any values that we could sum up in this table. Let's try the product table. There's a price field here. So let's sum up the price column. We can see the total of all of our products is equal to 1010. Now, we can also use the sum function with group by in the same way as count. Let's find out the sum of each salary for each department ID. First, we write select, and then we want to write the department ID, because that's the value that we want to see. Then we have the sum function, and inside the sum function, we want to see the salary again. Then from employee. Now, because we're using a sum function, which is an aggregate function, as well as a column, we need to have a group by clause. Now, let's run the query. We can see we have a list of department IDs and then a sum of their salary. We can order this by the sum column to see which department pays the most in salaries. Let's run this query and we can have a look at the results. The results show that department number five has the highest salary out of all the departments. So that's how you use the sum function. It works similar to count and allows us to add numbers together. Next, we'll learn how to find the highest and lowest values.